You know, the next presenter, I told you all about these gods that came here today. Uh, he is the godchild of one of my closest friends in the industry, Alex Rivera. And we uh, have with us today four people, or actually yesterday it was four, today it's three, that came from Panasonic. Antonio came, uh, uh, he, he was our presenter last year. He's here both days again today, on Saturday, Sunday. He's got a brand new baby at home. Six left, months. Six month old baby, yeah. left a beautiful child that come over here for two days. Very, very appreciated. And his football story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So, uh, so the next presenter, uh, Jason, is very, very uh, dear to my heart because he's the godson of one of my very closest friends in this industry, Alex Rivera. Alex will also be joining Panasonic. Is that a secret? It, it was. Alex is a leader in our industry and uh, a very welcome guy to get back into this uh, physical position here as well. So, okay, I'll stop getting us in trouble and Jason's on next. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you, Robert. I appreciate that. Though. You bet. And uh, thank, uh, thank the Value Electronics for having us today. Uh, just want to go over uh, our presentation about our flagship pieces here. Uh, we'll be presenting the VT25. Uh, the screen sizes of VT25 actually come in uh, 50, 54, 58, and 65 inch. They're currently available in the marketplace as we speak. Um, it is an IPTV, it also is a 3D television. As uh, we've kind of discussed in some of the uh, other presentations, it does. We're the only manufacturer that includes it with. A set of glasses included with the purchase of a television, so you actually get one pair automatically with the purchase. So, um, you can actually go right into the first slide of the presentation. You can go right into the first slide. Of the presentation. Okay. So, um, as Sony indicated uh, as well, uh, both us and Sony are heavily involved in 3D in terms of from every asset uh, facet of it from specifically camcorders in terms of manufacturing the camcorders that shoot 3D to compressing and authoring the disc in Hollywood in our PHL labs um, from also as well going to with regards to the manufacturing of televisions, Blu-ray players and uh, if anybody saw the, uh, the press release last week at the US Open we actually will be bringing here in the U.S. ever, first time ever, is uh, the ability to shoot uh, at retail and the normal consumer 3D camcorder. So you can actually create your own media with Panasonic uh, in terms of viewing 3D content. So that'll be available actually this month here in the U.S. So uh, you can go into the next slide. So really just end to end, we want to emphasize that we are involved in every part of it. And I even forgot to mention on that slide, even the broadcast side of it. So if anybody's a DirecTV uh, subscriber or has DirecTV at home, you actually will be able, we have an N3D contract with DirecTV that broadcasts currently 3D content 24-7 on channel 103 on DirecTV. So that is available 24-7. So, with that being said, in terms of our 3D technology, it really is the backbone of what has made uh, the VT, uh, VT25 the best 2D picture, uh, really, that a lot of people are talking about in the industry. It's the high-speed 3D drive technology that's been developed in terms of the... It's really going into a little bit of uh, science of, of plasma as a whole, if you notice, specifically, uh, plasmas, conventional plasmas, need to hit peak luminance bright levels, um, and usually there's an idle time or de decay time to the next peak luminance level or the brightness. So what Panasonic has able, been able to do at this point um, has been to actually hit brighter peak luminance levels and less idle time. So it's two things that have actually, we've done this really for the 3D side of it, but what this has done is enhance our 2D picture. Uh, essentially why uh, many in the industry feel that the VT25 in terms of motion resolution is the best 2D picture that uh, most people have ever seen. Um, we can go right into the next slide. Um, also, we've developed something called a faster decaying phosphor, which uh, actually supports in terms of less crosstalk. That could be crosstalk if we just really need to go over is sometimes that image that actually goes in, say, the right eye. So we read information left, right, left, right. Um, so that image that actually stays in your right eye uh, that could sometimes cause eye fatigue or strain while you're viewing uh, 3D. Um, this is actually what we've done in terms of typically it would come in, but what cross 
talk reduction has done is actually it actually decays this phosphor quicker so there is no lag time going into in terms of your experience of 3D. Um, so it's less lag time in the phosphor decaying. It actually gives you a crisper, sharper uh, picture overall in terms of motion resolution. So we can go into the next slide. Uh, also our glasses. Uh, one of the things we uh, are really proud of, we manufacture obviously our glasses too as well. Um, our glasses actually come in a form-fitting hard case. Uh, they're pretty durable and uh, I know uh, Kevin mentioned last night why was there a little gap and uh, I forgot to mention in terms of we designed our glasses ergonomically to fit over someone that wears glasses. So anybody can truly uh, enjoy their 3D experience with uh, wearing our glasses. They you also come with... Forget. You did say that. So. And that's uh, what well, I answered the question. Uh, looking for they come also included with two nose pads one for someone with a smaller bridge so say like a child and then one with a larger bridge for an adult and also like a pool string so if you have a pair of shades or anybody have a pair of shades you know the pool string on the back actually can fasten to uh, secure them so they may not slip off so I have a four-year-old so we had an opportunity to watch a 3d movie at the house works ideally and perfect uh, in that particular setting. Speaking yeah. to the glasses, so I don't steal any thunder, and I don't want to prevent anyone from buying something immediately from Robert if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be launching what's called an essentials kit, virtually for the whole month of October, where the consumer that buys our VT or GT 3D will get two more pairs of glasses and two 3D movies at point of purchase. So it's, it's one of those things that we, we realize there's a, an inherent expense to adding glasses to the to the viewing experience. So this total three pairs. So you get total. Well, the VT comes with a pair right. in the box. Total the total. GT, which is only 42 and 50 no. inch, does not. Right. Okay. So you'll either have three pairs when you go home okay. or two, and it's and it's the redemption's in store. It's not a mail. Okay. Right. It's not mail. You walk out the store. Right. Okay. Um, now uh, the one thing with our glasses that uh, we want to emphasize as well is in the manufacturing of them, these are two active shutter lenses actually that are here. So they're two LCD screens. Um, these LCD screens actually open and close uh, in terms of 60 seconds per eye, so 120 times a second um, to give you that great effect. Problem is sometimes uh, some other manufacturers don't necessarily open and close that quick and that fast and that sometimes can also create that eye fatigue and that eye strain sometimes maybe than not. Not all 3D is the same essentially is what I'm saying and most people that have experienced 3D or tested 3D actually experience and enjoy it with our glasses and this is some of the reasons to it in terms of we actually have done really some uh, good engineering and technological advances in every facet and every step of the manufacturing process. We can go into the next slide. Now, with that said, we also have uh, some of our feature sets overall in terms of our 600 hertz through the subfield drive in terms of our motion uh, capabilities, our Infinite Black Pro as well. Uh, THX certified this unit, the uh, VT. Uh, and that's implementing the new THX standards that have been uh, put in place. We've actually met those standards. Um, there's a new AR louver filter on this, uh, very similar to that of uh, uh, Pioneer Kuro. Um, we've implemented some of, uh, some of the patents on this filter. And also the biggest thing overall that I think gets missed in the marketplace is our capability of motion resolution, and that's in 1080p. Anybody saw the, from the early set go, um, we're still the only manufacturer that actually has uh, passed a test pattern uh, showing all 1080 lines in motion resolution full time. So um, I know Joel Simon emphasized that and it's something that we have obviously uh, focused in on at Panasonic as well. So I didn't come from seeing that by chance, did it? Um, the test pattern? Uh, the test and the, and the, and the, um, the, the pass. Um, I think I know what it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Very good. I, I think we introduced that last year actually on the S1. Mm -hmm. so, okay. It was part of our Neo PDP umbrella uh, for last year. Um, next slide. Okay, now you combine several of those things in terms of our 600 hertz motion capabilities, our faster decaying phosphor, and also uh, our 1080p motion resolution. Um, and it really has been what many have said is probably the best 2D experience you can have. Um, we can go right into the next slide. 
Um, again, the new standards have been implemented on this uh, television, so the uh, last year's standards have actually changed, and we were actually uh, right on in terms of color points and color gamuts um, for uh, the THX certification as well. Uh, and Panasonic specifically has gotten this award from George Lucas's um, fraternity or uh, from this standard uh, every year that it's been out. So it's something we hold uh, near and dear to our heart uh, in Japan. So next slide. Um, and again, uh, if many of us saw, uh, Joel Simon today was on Skype with us. So this is an IPTV as well. It serves as that. Um, obviously, we have a suite of... Uh, Netflix, Skype, Pandora, AVOD, or Amazon Video on Demand, Bloomberg, Twitter, Fox Sports, and Picasa. You can all access this either at Cat5 with Ethernet or via Wi-Fi antenna sold separately. So, but uh, to Skype through TV is actually uh, something uh, that we are really big about, and that actually carries me over to the next slide in terms of our camera that's available, proprietary to Panasonic, is a 720p camera. It's a high def camera. So um, if you're doing a Skype to Skype call from TV to TV, it actually will produce in high def for the 720. Um, however, usually on a laptop, it'll actually have to scale it down. So, But it is available to do 720 high def uh, video capabilities if you're gonna do uh, Skype from TV to TV. And I think that's exclusive with us this year. We can go right to the next slide. And just hitting back, some third-party publications that we've mentioned, these are all uh, pretty current too as well in terms of uh, through CR, uh, Sound and Vision, and Home Theater, these are all the September issues that are actually out on the, the shelves now. They all uh, have some great excerpts. We'll probably go through it on the next slide in terms of uh, even CNET actually uh, saying it's the best TV, uh, 2D set they've ever seen. Um, next slide. Uh, Sound and Vision gives it uh, THX provided dead on accurate color points and Panasonic's black level of shadow detail were very impressive. Uh, we can kind of go into the next slide and uh, again in terms of value we actually um, in terms of price pointing and value we hit a, a price point that uh, really it, it shocks people overall and then the Panasonic's uh, VT25 is the best black level we've seen or measured on a non Kuro plasma that says a lot it also speaks of our collaboration with uh, Pioneer as well so um, going into the next slide and then finally I know this is the calibrator's dream is the fact that we are now ISF CCC uh, compatible and we are also RS232 certified too so um, you can actually, uh, for control four purposes, you can actually access uh, these uh, settings that are built in and no one else can ever mess them up or get into them either. So, um, And then we really knew this was a special piece this year, specifically right out of CES. We were not only won the best television at show, we won the best item at show or product at show. So uh, to be quite honest with you, we, we knew there was a great buzz in the marketplace for the VT25. So. And I think that's it. Uh, any questions from the audience? We just want to briefly mention, too, we're talking about a little bit about exclusive content and how some of the, the TV manufacturers are inking deals to kind of... There's another option for you. We are actually introduced last month the world's first consumer 3D camcorder. So now you have the option to create your own exclusive content and do whatever you like to do. And with our SD card capability, you can actually take cards out of the camcorder, stick them right in your 3D set, and watch it at home in 3D. There are plans at retail that we may hopefully one day have kind of a pedestal above the set that allows consumers to walk into your store and see themselves with the glasses on in 3D in front of the set. So we're, we're trying to do some creative stuff there. But $1,300 for a camcorder, it's... Uh, Serves it's, as a uh, fantastic 2D camcorder. It's built, on our, it's built on our 700, which is a great HD camcorder. TM700. And has stereoscopic vision built mm -hmm. into it. Fantastic. That's great. Very nice.